In this video, we'll do the derivative of the absolute value of x using the limit definition of derivative. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. Okay, so f prime of x, where the derivative of f of x with respect to x is defined as the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So the derivative of absolute value of x, so absolute value of x is the f of x function in this case. So let's plug in x plus h where x is, so that would be the absolute value of x plus h minus the absolute value of x, which is the original function all over h. So now on the top we have a minus b. So if we have a minus b times a plus b, we'll get a squared minus b squared. And the square of an absolute value, you get rid of the absolute value because it's already positive. Okay, so we're going to multiply by the absolute value of x plus h plus absolute value of x, and then the same thing, x plus h, plus the absolute value of, of x. And now, the limit of something, of two mul things multiplied t together, is the limit of one thing times the limit of the other thing, given that it, it is equal to a value. So in this case, we can look at this. Plugging in h goes to 0, this goes to, well, you would have the absolute value of x plus the absolute value of x, which is 2 times the absolute value of x. So we can multiply that out of the limits. This is 1 over 2 absolute value of x times the limit as h goes to 0. On the top, you're going to have, so let's just show this, a squared minus b squared, and a is x plus h squared minus b is x, so that we have x squared. So we have x plus h quantity squared minus x squared all over h. Okay. Now you can evaluate this. You can expand this out, subtract by x squared, do all this stuff, or we can look, think about this differently. So this is actually, with the limit, this is the derivative of x squared, because x plus h plugging into x squared will be x plus h quantity squared. So this is really the derivative of x squared. But you know what the derivative of x squared is. That's 2x all over 2 absolute value of x. The 2 and the 2 will cancel because it's not equal to 0. So the answer is x over absolute value of x. But not every resource shows this the same way. But if you wanted to look the other way, you can multiply top and bottom by absolute value of x. This will be x times absolute value of x. As we said before, the absolute value of x quantity squared is the same thing as just x squared because when you square something, it's always positive. And x and x will cancel. One of the x's, this will leave us with the absolute value of x over x. And that is the end of the video. Hope you liked it. And thank you for watching.